former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan faced with blasphemy charges. Wow. Wow. Like, if you've been following this channel for a while, you have you know how huge this is. Oh no. I sent this to Armin like this is crazy. This is crazy. Um, so the Pakistani political drama has reached a new peak. Let's get into it. On May 1st, Pakistan's recently ousted Prime Minister Imran Khan was booked with blasphemy charges along with 150 others, including Khan's top political allies. In early April, Khan was removed from office after the parliament gave Khan a decisive uh, vote on a no-confidence motion, sparking mass protests from his supporters. The blasphemy charges were filed by Mohammed Naim, a citizen of the city of Faisalabad. The complaint filed by Naim is linked to a group of Pakistani pilgrims in Medina who protested the new prime minister, Shabazz Sharif's arrival in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. During this protest in the holy city, Prime Minister Sharif was called a thief and a traitor and other, quote, explicit language was used. Khan and his party, Pakistan tariq e insaf or PTI, stand accused of purposefully organizing this protest in the sacred city of Medina and that the hooliganism that followed offended the sentiments of Muslims and even worse, desecrated the Masjid-e-Nababi. Uh, no, no, Na Nabi Masjid e Nabi. Almost said Nabi. A mosque that was supposedly built by the Prophet Muhammad. Uh, Maryam on uh, oh man, our 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 Rangzeb, a the new information minister accused Khan of using the mosque for his political agenda. Khan dismissed the allegations and claimed that he could not imagine asking anyone to disrespect a sacred place. Quote, I cannot think of asking anyone to do sloganeering at that sacred place. He explained that, quote, no one who loves the prophet could even think of it. In Pakistan, blasphemy is punishable by up to 10 years in prison, life imprisonment, or even the death penalty. Wait, so... His Imran Khan's position was in Medina, and some people protested, and the protest led to people using slurs and some destruction. Look, what else did they do? They did some bad things, and now people are saying Imran Khan was responsible for that, and therefore, because he's responsible for that, this is blasphemy. Am I getting this right? Yes. Okay, okay. Um, it wasn't the, it, the the blasphemy is just seems to be like the fact that like general unrest was caused in the holy city. So somebody somebody with the username Pakistani communist in the live chat is saying Armin Emran Khan sent people to the protest. Do we know if Emran Khan sent people to the protest? Do no, he denies we, it. He denies it. How do we know? Okay. Is this a footage of the protest? I think Can so. Play? Wait, you guys don't have audio. The audio is great. Hold on. Let me know if you have audio. Wait, is this right next to the? Oh my God, it is. Oh, the the mosque you were mentioning, you meant? Oh, you meant Nabi? Is this the main mosque in Medina? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can tell by these. Like, um, okay, I think. Okay, guys, this is the second most sacred place in the whole Islamic world. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Sorry, I can't pronounce these names at all. <laughs> okay, okay, like this is it, it's it's Mecca. Okay, the Kaaba area, number one, 
And second is just is this, unless you're a Shia, which is then it makes it Karbala above everything else. But no, but this is um, okay. So I can't believe they use like swear words right next to the mosque of the prophet. Well, you know, I can't understand what they're saying, but that's what's reported, right? Yeah. Or it's like they're all kind of offended that the fact that there was like this unrest in general, that there was such a commotion in this really holy site in general. Okay, do you think they pulled his hair? Did they pull his hair? Whose hair? Well, the, what was the other guy's name? It was Sharif, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think he was like present there. I don't think he was in the crowd. I don't know. Do I didn't think see anything reporting hair? that. Mm. Like that's that like that's assault. Like they would. I don't know. I believe I probably would have been reported that he was assaulted. How is this black? Okay, so this is insane. Okay, for you to for people to be like this, like acting like this, right next to the the mosque of the prophet, which is, he's buried mm -hmm. there, by the way. But how is this blasphemy? I thought blasphemy, like it, because this behavior yeah. offended the beliefs of the the sentiments of Muslims. It offended Muslims, and it desecrated the masjid. It 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 does it desecrated the holy site. Wouldn't so blasphemy is now every time I don't like something. I don't know. I well, think like if, unless... it's been that way for a long time. What are you talking about? <laughs> I it's mean, it's not like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this isn't okay. So it's pretty like based on Islamic standards. That's pretty disrespectful to the uh, Prophet Muhammad and blah 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 and all mm -hmm, that nonsense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's not blasphemy. Like they didn't blaspheme Muhammad. They didn't blaspheme. Like they didn't. You know, so I don't know how this is blasphemy. Okay. So apparently, everything disrespectful you do. If it has a religious nature, apparently now it's called blasphemy. Okay, sure. Yeah, no, and this these the, these charges were defended by several government officials, and like they were confirmed. Now, how this will go forward, I don't know. Like, I, I will Imran Khan face the death penalty for blasphemy? No, I don't think so. I don't think they're gonna go in, in anywhere that close. Okay. Um, but, I mean, technically, technically, given that I mean, technically, based on Pakistani standards, this is blasphemy because in in Pakistan they just throw out the blasphemy accusations like over everything, like just like they killed oh, a man, they lynched a man in the street over taking a sticker off a piece of machinery that had the prophet's name. Yeah, yeah. So if you if there's like a prophet name and you just like it's a sticker. You better leave the sticker there for the end until the end of time. That wall will have that sticker because if <laughs> if you remove it, a mob will show up and beat you to death. Okay, so literally, yeah, yeah literally, like we're not. Exaggerating. Isn't that kind of this, idolatry? Doesn't that happened. seem a little uh, shirky to like shirky? Yeah, treat just as something like you're, they're treating the name of the prophet like its own idol. I feel. What do you think? Just, oh my god yeah that you should, just occurred okay, to me okay you're actually you're completely right but don't tell them th that because now they're gonna go kill all the people that killed the man like it's gonna be like <sighs> all the way it's just gonna be oh the, my god you know it's going to be blasphemy accusations left and right you're i accuse you of blasphemy for accusing that man of blasphemy because you just committed adultery over the name of muhammad so you're a blasphemous now we have to kill you um, yeah <laughs> but I don't know. It's so crazy. crazy. It's, even Pakistan is, it? yeah, it's going. But the fact but... that it's being used in this political manner is like on a, it's, it, that's like on a different level for Pakistan. Like even that is on a different level for Pakistan. You know, I saw a bunch of people writing about this saying like, oh, you know, the way that this is politicized is, you know, so crazy. The blasphemy law in Pakistan, everything about blasphemy in Pakistan is politicized. Everything about it. It just is using it so brazenly against a political opponent is like pretty wild. I think that's what's unprecedented. But yeah, this is obviously one of the most like, one of the most politicized issues in Pakistan. Period. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Brixter is saying Muslims treating Muhammad like a god. Shocking. <laughs> no, no, not Muhammad. Momo. We have to read the. Oh Momo. my god.
Yeah, I guess I maybe my my thought isn't as original as I would have. <laughs> <laughs> um pakistani communists to say armin it isn't genuine blasphemy charge the new government must use this blasphemy law to discredit imran khan otherwise he will come and cause ruin uh so people and so he's saying this is not actually people know that this is not real blasphemy but they need it but yeah they need it to remove i think him. that's a good so, point it's a good point but it's against the will of the people i mean do you want to like we we are undone, undone, ugh, undemocratic. It's undemocratic. Yes, like I'm also against Imran Khan, but I'm also for democracy. So if Imran Khan is the will of the Pakistani people, that's how it is. Like I don't know. Like you have you have to you have bigger problems that you need to solve. You can't just like force it upon the people, right? Um, oh, here, what is this? Malik is giving us new information here he's saying as it as it for it going forward the courts ordered the police to take back the fir that's the police report and remove the blasphemy charges is that true oh, okay. let me see let me is that true Google we don't that know really quickly we, as of the courts ordered the police to take back is that the, the latest FIR. update in Ron Khan? wait how can we can we take back the firs against us in india is that how how the how did they do <laughs> we can't do... the courts can <laughs> we have for people who don't know we have uh, me and Susanna also have firs filed against us for drawing hindu goddesses okay um i'm not seeing anything about it being revoked maybe that happened like very recently and it hasn't been translated into english speaking news yet but i i can't find that anywhere Okay. Man, people have written to the UN to protest the misuse of blasphemy laws against Khan. Holy what? cow. Oh, okay. You know what? We should use this on Islamophobia Day with Emran Khan, who Emran Khan manages to manage to establish. Every year on Islamophobia Day, we remind people how Islamophobic Emran Khan was. <laughs> For doing on the day like, that he founded <laughs> on the day that he founded he got it recognized by the united nations will remind people that he did this he caused this event next to the mosque of the holy prophet oh here it is that. former human rights minister and pti that's khan's political party core committee member shreen shireen Mazari has written to special rapporteurs to the United Nations calling for their intervention to cease the Pakistani government's quote misuse of the blasphemy law against Imran Khan and senior PTI members. Okay, this is rich coming from Shireen Mazari because she is one of the worst. She's so bad when it comes to whitewashing Islam and being an apologist for the severe abuses that happen to Pakistani minorities because of is islamist ideology she's also she's like, such a crazy and even regarding like the blasphemy issues like whitewashing everything like that's okay okay shireen like you know what you have to be imran khan for people to say that the blasphemy accuse this many people to come in your defense and say blasphemy cases have been misused really now really now what about all the other people that are on death row or have been killed by a mob because of blasphemy accusations where where are all the people who came who now are saying oh blasphemy accusations are being misused did this many people spoke in their defense or any of their defense like where did they also spoke out for them I bet you a lot of these people, a lot, I will bet that a lot of these people are like, oh, you're, you're, you're overdoing it with blasphemy accusations. A lot of them were the same people that would be first in line against the people that were so based on nothing, based they on make just excuses false accusations. They make excuses when it happens to minorities. Yes. They make excuses. Yes. Yeah. All right um yeah including Imran Khan himself by the way yeah who who actually added to the oppression of people including the Ahmadis instead of fighting against it Mother. atheist republic needs your help 
we have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.